children fighting cancer in Atlanta may not get the treatments that they need to survive. A drug needed to help these children is in short supply. It's called Vincristine. Doctors are having to make some difficult decisions about who will get those treatments. Caitlin Ross talked to families today. Caitlin, they're obviously scared for their kids. These families have been told this is the drug your child needs to survive. Now they're being told there's not enough of it to go around. They feel helpless. She was diagnosed on her first birthday, May 16th. Um, she has stage four alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma in both legs. For the past six months, Haley Allen has taken her daughter to every doctor she can find to treat her rare and aggressive cancer. When she was diagnosed, she only had a 20% chance to live. And that's with the necessary treatment. The necessary treatment is a drug called Vincristine. It's used to manage many childhood cancers. The patent on the drug has expired, and only two companies were making it, Teva and Pfizer. Teva won't say why it stopped production. And the fact that one pharmaceutical company decided to stop making it as a business decision, leaving it all on another, and they're unable to keep up with demand is absurd. Pfizer says it's tripled its production, trying to keep up with demand. But patients here in Atlanta are already missing doses. 14-year-old Ethan is battling blood cancer and went to his appointment at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta yesterday to get the Vincristine. His family says he was turned away because they didn't have enough. It's terrible for them to say that some kids are more important than others. Children's Toll 11 Alive treating its patients is its top priority. The Children's Oncology Group, an organization that makes the pediatric cancer guidelines, released a letter about the shortage late this afternoon saying they're trying to figure out what's going on. I don't like that pharmaceutical companies are gambling with my daughter's life before she can ever even have a conversation with us. She's having to fight for her life and it's, it's as hard as it could possibly be already. This isn't just impacting the families. The doctors who treat these kids are distraught. In a statement, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta told us, we share our family's concerns and we're committed to doing anything possible to lessen the impact on our kids. Our clinical and pharmacy teams are working to pool supplies, evaluate allotment, and determine the best course of action for each individual patient currently receiving Vincristine. This is our highest clinical priority, and our physicians are establishing criteria within these restrictions for use moving forward until the shortage is addressed by the manufacturer. We stand with our patient families, and we are committed to providing the best treatment possible given the current situation. There's a little girl right there who's going to miss, what, 12 t treatments. There's got to be a way to pressure these companies or get supplies from other places. What could be an answer here, Caitlin? Well, that's a really great point because there are other countries, especially in Europe, that do manufacture this drug, but there would have to be a special FDA exemption for them to get it into the United States. Companies are working on doing that right now, but it's going to take time, and unfortunately, it's time some of these kids don't have. Okay. All right. I know you'll keep following it. Caitlin, thank you.